much was it? How much was it? They gave it to me. So you're not gonna tell me how much was it? Okay, they gave it to me. I don't believe you. Why? How are they gonna give you something like that? They gave this. They gave. They were like, hey, like, okay, yeah, they gave it to me. No, they didn't. <laughs> Fellas, have you ever tried that one? Welcome to another installment in the Connecticut Gun Bench. Today's video is brought to you by PAN Firearms LLC. PAN Firearms, your NRA certification and multifaceted gun training. You can reach us at 203-300-6343 or use our website at www.panfirearmsllc.com. As always, there'll be a link in the description box below. Let's talk about this. Now, I have been, you know, I've been talking a lot about guns and, you know, every once in a while I like to have something, you know, it's so much doom and gloom going on. I like to have something a little bit lighter. And there's the Babylon Bee. And congratulations to them for getting back on Twitter. They should never have been taken off. But the Babylon Bee had a series it was called California to Texas, where they depicted a California couple with California values moving to Texas and being exposed to Texas values. And it's absolutely, it's a six part series. Absolutely freaking hysterical. The opening, um, the first day when they moved in and the neighbor comes over and he has a gun on his hip and they freak out, you know. <laughs> but what I want to talk about is, and I want to get into, is the, uh, the episode four where they go to the gun range. Okay. And let's go ahead and watch that because... <laughs> <laughs> it really is funny. Is this it? Damn. The GPS doesn't lie. Hey, Audi, hey, come on over. What is this place? A gun range? I asked you guys if you wanted to go shooting at the range. I thought you meant shooting, like, pics for my Insta. What did you think range meant? Oh, I thought, like, home on the range, where the deer and the antelope play. Well, there's no deer here. Except, except for that guy. <laughs> <laughs> well, and this guy, too. You should try this. Oh, yeah. Well, <laughs> let's get started. I know. We don't like guns, remember? I can't have you turning into some sort of crazy gun nut. This is not good for our marriage. We've been seeing a marriage counselor. She says my texification is unfair to Timpani, so. You found a marriage counselor in Texas who uses the word texification? She's, She's in, in Austin. Austin. That makes sense. If you guys are anti-gun like you say you are, wouldn't it be better if you could speak from a place of experience? Yes! I mean, it's okay, it's cool, whatever, don't be. Well, I do suppose it would be good to say that I've shot a gun so I know how bad it is. Now listen, I've got some good stuff for you. All right, come on over here, come on. Ladies first. Hey, uh, can we get these guys started with a couple of Glock 17s? Can you hook us up? And here's your, um, here's your eyes. And here's your ears. Safety gear. Mm. That seems very responsible. Mm. Oh yeah, gun safety is the most important thing. Okay, let's head on in. I'll show you guys the ropes. Always keep your firearm pointed in a safe direction. Always assume it's loaded, which we now refer to as the Alec Baldwin rule. Mm -hmm. And never. <laughs> oh man. Ooh boy, I'm surprised Alec Baldwin lives in that down at that place. Oof. <laughs> Not the Babylon Bee headquarters raising hell. Oh. Walk down range until all firearms are laid on the table with the actions open. I don't get some of those words. But that also sounds very responsible. See. What did you think we were just gonna run around here and shoot the guns off everywhere <laughs> like a bunch of crazy gun nuts? <laughs> I don't know. I would never call you a crazy gun nut. But you did say you didn't want Steve to become a crazy gun nut. I don't think so. That doesn't sound like me. No, it sounds, sounds just like you. I heard you say it. Yeah, you said it. Let's get y'all started. Is that a fully semi-automatic single hollow point assault machine gun? 
He sounds like a Democrat. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, oh, gosh. Mm. Um. Is that a 30 magazine clip? No, that's an eight bullet round. Break yourself, fool! We don't do that here. All right, all guns on the table. Let's see how we did. Hey, Steve, I'm pretty impressed over there. Did I do well? Uh, well, it looks like you missed every shot. That's quite. I wonder if Steve is a stormtrooper. Maybe he's a stormtrooper in another life accomplishment well where'd all my bullets go we don't know we only know where they did not go that must happen all the time for beginners and all <laughs> no no i've never seen that before i'm not not even uh, with beginners i went look in timpani actually you got all your hits on the paper really Mm-hmm. even some of steve's hits your paper that's impressive steve never seen that before either i didn't think it would smell so much well that's the gunpowder well i don't like guns so i definitely don't like that smell well, all right, folks, you want to go again? Yes! I mean, yeah, it's, it's cool. Sorry. No, it's not. No, it's cool. Well, it looks like Steve missed every shot again, but Timpani hit every shot, and there's even a couple in the bullseye this yeah. time. Oh, but Steve, none of your shots hit Timpani's target this time, so you're getting closer. Or even further away. Dag nabbit! I really thought I was getting the hang of this Texas thing. Well, you said dag nabbit. That's something. It is. Well, you know, handguns are the hardest ones to shoot accurately. You guys want to try some ARs? I guess we can give it a Let's try. Let's do it! them all again. Well, Temp, you should be relieved. There's no way I'm gonna become a gun nut now. <laughs> but... Good. These AR-15s are just wrong. There's no reason that anyone should have a need to own one of these things. But if one were to buy one, where would be the best place to do that? So what kind of gun is that? Uh, it's a price gun. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> it's an eight round, bu eight round bullet. <laughs> but <clears throat> I said it was a six part series and it covered over right over to, I'm gonna show you the very last scene. As they went to Texas, came back to California, and found out they had squatters in their house that they couldn't get rid of. Kind of did a little Texas thing in California, offended their California, <laughs> and then went back to Texas. And this, and this is the end part here. And is it, you know, can't help but play it because it, it's just great. Babe, there's someone coming. She has a gun! I'm calling the cops! We're recording you! Oh, no, 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 we're just your neighbors. Just coming by to say howdy and welcome y'all to the neighborhood. I don't get it. You're in Texas now, sweetie. You'll get used to it. Might even come to like it. <laughs> Jerky. All right, <laughs> like I said, this is a six part series on the Babylon Bee, man. Absolutely hysterical. I tell you, the Babylon Bee, they're geniuses, geniuses. And this is great. And I hope they turn this into some kind of a, maybe it'd have to stay on Rumble or maybe on YouTube. 
but to do a, a series on this whole thing because this is great and it's freaking awesome. But let me know what you think. As always, you can leave your comments in the comment section below. And as always, any statements of violence or statements that lead to violence will be removed. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you're notified the next time a video goes live. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.